If you have back pain and you want a simple way to know which movements, positions or exercises are going to help you and which ones to avoid or at least modify, then keep watching to the end of this video. Because I want to show you two simple tests that you can do to tell you what you need to do for your back to get better and then how to implement that into your daily life. Now what we're talking about is flexion and extension intolerance, meaning your back either doesn't like bending forwards or bending backwards. Now I know that sounds really simple, but a lot of the time people with back pain don't actually know what movements or positions are making it worse. When people come to see me in clinical practice, I'll often ask them that question, what makes it worse? And sometimes they don't know. They'll say, oh, just, just everyday things. But when you dig a little deeper and then do some tests, they'll find out that it's actually the forward bending movements or sitting for a long time, which are kind of similar movements that are aggravating it. Or it could be standing, um, standing in the same position for a long time or walking slowly, which is extension intolerance. So we're gonna look at two simple tests to find out which one you might be. You've got to bear in mind that you might not be either as well or possibly both, but most people fall under the category of one or the other. And then we're gonna look at what movements are good for you, which ones to avoid or how to modify them, and which exercises are appropriate for you if you want your back to get better. The chair pull test is a simple little test to see if your back is flexion intolerant, meaning if it doesn't like bending forwards. You just sit in a chair like that and slump forwards. Now, if you get any pain just with that movement, your back is definitely flexion intolerant. And also stop if it begins to hurt. You're not trying to hurt yourself. But you might want to challenge it by grabbing the base of the chair and pulling down gently just to add a bit more pressure. Perhaps pull a little bit harder. Again, stop if it's painful. And if you get any pain with this movement, your back is flexion intolerant. Now, the backward bend test is the opposite movement and it's for extension intolerance. And as it sounds, you just pop your hands on your hips like that and bend backwards. If you get any pain with that movement, then your back is extension intolerant. But it might not be painful, it could just be very stiff. To do this test properly though, you need to keep your legs straight. What a lot of people with a very stiff back do is they bend at the knees thinking they're bending backwards. So try to keep the legs straight. And another common mistake when you bend back is to really tilt the head back. It's not a test for the neck, it's a test for the lower back. So do it like this. Keep your head in a fairly neutral position, keep your legs straight and just bend at the lower back. Any pain or stiffness with that, you're extension intolerant. People who are flexion intolerant, so their back doesn't like being bent forwards too much, tend to sit like that a lot. They're often the people who spend all day on the laptop or they drive a lot. So day in, day out, they're in the position that's making their back worse. And conversely, extension intolerance, so people who, uh, whose back doesn't like bending backwards, often spend a lot of the time on their feet. Now it could be that those positions are what made their back bad in the first place, but that's not always clear. Either way, when you understand though what's going to aggravate your back, then you can start to modify those positions or start to do exercises to offset those movements, which I'm going to show you in a bit.